Hey Sagittarius, how's it going? It's Ashley from Seven Dippity Tarot, and this is your general tarot reading. We're gonna take a look and see what's going on for you guys in love, romance, and partnership. This is for the month of June 2023. We're gonna see what's happening for you guys. Please do take what resonates and leave the rest. If it's your reading, great. If it's not, um, it's okay, right? If you want a personalized tarot reading, do let me know. All the details are in the description box below. I do have a Father's Day special going on. So if you are wanting a Father's Day reading um, for Father's Day, your father, soon-to-be father, maybe this regarding a father figure, take a look in the description box below. All right, Sag, June 2023. Let's jump right in. What does Sagittarius need to know pertaining to love, romance, all the above? What's going on? Two card challenge for you guys. Ten of Wands, okay? So you can feel quite burdened by a situation, right? That's the card of burdens. Maybe something has come to an end and it feels like it's very heavy. So just going to talk about emotional burdens or baggage that you're carrying from something. You're trying to move past a situation. You may be trying to move in some new direction and a Ten of Wands could feel like something from the past holding you down, weighing heavily on you in some way. And I think that's what that's about because the Queen of Wands is in reverse. You may feel restricted you may feel like you don't have the energy the means um the, the security the support to be able to move forward and so when i see the queen of wands in a verse it feels like she feels stuck or just not being able to move in a direction that she wants that she strongly wants for herself so male or female doesn't matter i think this energy is you though the queen of wands in a verse give me the recent past nine of cups page of pentacles in a verse and a temperance i feel like there's someone that you were dealing with sagittarius that you thought was gonna make you happy you thought was your wish come true your person i'm seeing the energy of like you make me happy and you fulfill me you fill up my cup but i feel like this is someone that really at the, when it came down to it wasn't really offering what you needed them to offer they weren't offering enough they may have came in with an offer too small you may have been waiting, waiting, waiting forever for this person to make the offer that you were looking for because of temperance. You were very patient. You didn't jump to conclusions, right? It feels like you just were waiting, waiting, waiting for something and it never happened. And so, you know, time's up. You know, this temperance could be literally indication of time, waiting for something to happen. It never happens. And now you're having to move on, go toward your own happiness and fulfillment. So, you know, the temperance could be like doing things in moderation as well. So maybe someone here was not ready to kind of take the action you wanted them to take. They were kind of just like giving you just a little bit, moderating or controlling the situation. So take it how it resonates. That could have been what's going on as well. You could have been dealing with a Sagittarius like yourself. We have the King of Swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone definitely could be um, wanting to move forward with you after a period of no communication. I mean, the King of Swords in the verse tells me that you and this person are not really talking or the communication lines are completely cut off. And so the King of Swords in the verse, maybe there was an argument, right? Five of Swords is here. Maybe there was a fight or a big disagreement. This can also be someone that has lied to you and they're feeling quite defeated because they don't know what to say after this lie, right? And so the Eight of Wands in verse, I really strongly believe that someone wants to move forward with you. They want to move past this blockage in communication. They want to take some action towards you. But it may not be that easy because that Five of Swords is just conflict, defeat, struggle, okay? So let's take a look at your person's energy a little bit deeper, whoever this is that you're maybe dealing with. Could be the same person or new person queen of swords the tower the page of swords and a judgment all coming out in reverse so this is definitely someone that has told a lie i mean the queen of swords in the upright so this could be a person um someone who has something on their mind they want to say something queen of swords is like i need to talk about this i need to tell you what's going on what's on my mind and it could be a regarding a situation that they've been avoiding for some time that has caused a lot of hurt Drama, okay, chaos, I mean, ruin. The tower in the verse is telling me that you and your person could literally be going through a tower moment right now and they're wanting to address it after a period of not talking about it, right? Or maybe something's become so difficult and so challenging that now it's like, no, there's no more avoiding it. 
So the Page of Swords in verse, yeah, I feel like there's something you and this person has not talked about and they're wanting to go back to revisit and maybe make a decision regarding it. So that judge in a verse could be like redoing reassessing and maybe a decision that they made it wasn't the right one right they made a decision too quickly and now be wanting to talk about it and conversate okay four wands came out in reverse in the outcome let's get two more cards i got three okay two of pentacles the emperor in reverse and the six of pentacles okay so this energy is telling me for one there, there is a little bit of an imbalance here and it almost makes me feel like the emperor in reverse someone here could be acting very cowardly and kind of waiting for you to take action before they take action they may be literally weighing options with the two of pentacles going back and forth should i or should i not right should i give to the situation should i not should i open up the lines of communication should i not should i apologize or should i not there's just a lot of back and forth and it's regarding an emperor for energy so it could be a father figure or literally like a masculine and someone here definitely wants to reciprocate or bring balance and equality back to the situation they want things to be more fair and balanced but it feels like they're just not really sure if they should be the first one doing it because they're a little bit of a coward coward like energy right the emperor universe feels like you know i don't have a plan i don't have a strategy i don't know if it's going to be good enough i don't know if it's enough right and so unfortunately there could be some kind of like breakdown right still in in this relationship because of that so someone is having a difficult time taking back control is what i would say with the emperor universe okay going back and forth should i should i not and kind of going back and forth between two things two options or two paths but i feel like it's a decision okay all right clear concise accurate messages for sagittarius we have the ten of wands and the queen of wands yeah i mean the four pentacles in a verse there's the energy of um a challenge being that you may be having to drop something drop something that is really weighing you heavily down ten of wands so there's something from the past that happened and it's just not serving you any good right it's only hurting you it's harming you it's holding you back you have to let it go and that is the biggest challenge this could be what this person did to you it could be something that they said that made you angry it could be a lie there's something you're having to let go because it's getting in the way of you making the progress that you want all right, in the past with the Temperance of Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, we have the Seven of Wands and the Two Wands in reverse. So in the past, there was a lot of indecision and it does feel like there was just a lot of going back and forth and it could have been regarding investments, if this is worth investing, if I should fight for this, right? There, that was some kind of maybe internal discussion someone had with themselves. And I think that's why the temperance is here. Someone was kind of like unsure in their head and taking their time regarding you. And I think the two wands could be also other people. Maybe there was an idea that maybe there was someone else out there that they can move forward with. But I think the biggest thing here is that someone was not sure if they should put in the work here. If it was worth the time, the attention, the investment, eight of pentacles of earth, someone was not showing up for you the way you needed them to. All right, give me the energy right now. We have the Two of Cups, the Judgment, and the Ten of Pentacles. Someone is wanting to reach out and take some kind of action towards you, maybe after some kind of family conflict, um, marital conflict. And the Two of Cups is like realizing that there's still love here, right? I still care for you. You're still my person. And maybe there's something they had not told you, King of Swords in a verse, or they lied to you regarding a decision that they've made. Yeah, the energy is telling me that you both are thinking about some kind of decision that was made and maybe it's causing a rift because it feels like someone was either in denial, which is why they made a decision, or there was some kind of conflict. I, I, I'm mad at you and that's why a decision was made. So again, it feels like that decision is going to be revised or redone because a judgment came out in a verse here. And I definitely feel like there's just a lot of argumentative energy. And you both are thinking about this decision because it wasn't the right one. So I feel like there's an opportunity to restabilize maybe a marriage or a home situation with the Ten of Pentacles. What's on your person's mind with the Queen of Swords? Well, they're wanting some kind of big change, right? The Death card could be a Scorpio or a Knight of Cups energy. I mean, this is someone here that obviously wants to communicate their feelings. They don't know how. They're struggling with what to say and how to say it. Because they recognize something has come to an end and the death card, it feels like it feels vinyl, but maybe it's not, right? Um, but the death is like wanting some kind of change. Maybe recognize that they need to change first. Give me the tower in reverse. That could be why they're avoiding you. Five of Cups, they feel ashamed. 
Five of Cups and the Three of Cups is someone being ashamed of their dealings. Maybe something that they did that led to the breakdown of this relationship where you guys are not talking or celebrating anymore. It also could be some kind of shame or guilt, sorrow regarding their dealings with a third party. They wish they hadn't done it. And so it caused a huge tower moment, right? So that's something here that they, they regret, right? So I think the Tower Universe is like, I'm not talking to Sagittarius just yet. I really want to, but I have to kind of approach the situation very delicately. What are they um, not communicating with the Page of Swords? Well, they, they want to bring justice, harmony to a situation. They're just trying to weigh options on how to do it. So the justice and the Two of Pentacles is definitely indicating that they know that they were wrong. They know they did something where they were wrong on all different levels. But they also realize that they're having to like ease into how they come towards you with the Two of Pentacles in bringing justice, harmony, or even apologizing, right? How to make things right. That two of pentacles tells me that they're kind of weighing options and they're kind of maybe afraid to kind of go all in and fear that maybe something wouldn't work out for them. Page of swords could be some petty arguing or fighting. But there's a decision that has to be done and it does feel like it's all about time, right? In the past, maybe a decision was done and it wasn't the right time. The wheel of fortune, there's something faded, something divine. Um, and the judgment of verbs could be going back on a decision because now the timing is right. Now it feels like there's an opportunity for things to move forward and there'll be progression and good fortune coming in, okay? That wheel. All right, let's take a look at the outcome. A lot of going back and forth regarding a masculine energy. And the Ace of Pentacles, someone got their eye on the prize, right? The, the outcome is telling you someone wants a new beginning. Someone believes that there's an opportunity to restabilize something. Um, this talks about like a commitment or relationship. Really seeing that, you know, we need to work toward that Ace of Pentacles. We need to work toward this new beginning. And what do I need to do to get it? The Hierophant in reverse and the Temperance. For some of you, um, the Temperance, you know, it could be a Sagittarius like you. It could be also a Taurus. Someone is easing up into maybe a different way of viewing commitment, a different way of viewing marriage. So for some of you, someone is now maybe making an offer where it feels a whole lot solid and stable than it was before because maybe they weren't ready to, to jump into a commitment, but now they are because there's some kind of reconsideration regarding a commitment or some kind of non-committal energy. With time, the temperance and maybe more open and inclined to take on that responsibility of a commitment to a pentacles and that is something they've been going back and forth in so that is what i'm seeing sagittarius i hope you guys enjoyed this reading like share comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you are aware when i drop these readings all right you guys take care